Example 6C, if we compare to see what kind of asymptote or if there is one, we have a degree in the numerator is one more than the degree in the denominator. So it has got a oblique asymptote. So I want to just see this one factors. If you can factor and cancel, then you don't have that oblique asymptote. So when we factor this, we get, let's see, x plus 2 and then uh, x minus 1 over x plus 1. So they don't cancel. So we can go ahead and do our division to find our asymptote. So that's the only reason I did this is to see that it doesn't simplify. Okay, so that means then, um, oh, I don't need a y equals, sorry, I meant to do division here. So negative one, 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 and negative two. Bring that down, bring that one down, we get negative one, add, we get zero, negative one times zero, you get zero, add, you get negative two. So this is x plus zero minus two over x plus one. So my equation, I'll just go up here, would be y is equal to negative two over x plus one plus x, and there's no sense in putting x plus zero. So my oblique asymptote would be this tail end part here. So it would be y equals x, which is a linear um, function as well. The y-intercept just happens to be zero or your b value is zero. So here is your oblique asymptote.